Well, welcome back everyone to the Ties by Harrison. Today, we're going to be looking for buried treasure. So come along with me and I'll show you where it's hid. That being said, I will see you on that side. Hopefully it's not a bad one. <laughs> a dollar each. What type of treasures are you looking for today? A little bit of everything. <laughs> Seeing what I can find. We started after Christmas. David owned a store down south of town, and I went to him, was ready to open one, never met the man, and he said yes. And he said, find one and we'll open one. So I did. And February, we got in at January 23rd, and we opened the store February 23rd. But David, what was it about her voice and all when she was talking to you, gets over the phone to, to convince you to go in with her to open the store sight well, unseen, not even know who she was? Well, I'd, I'd met her. She came down to the store a couple of times, but I'd, I just helped people out. I mean, she really wanted to start a store, and I'm actually a retired civil engineer, so for me, this is just kind of fun. <laughs> and tell me, what, what kind of store is this? Well, we buy, and buy foreclosed storage units, and basically, our rule is it comes in the back door, and it's out the front. The front door is as fast as it can. All our prices are the rule. Only rule we have in the store is you come in, you see it, you're gonna go home with it. We uh, we we will. I mean, you're not gonna insult us. We buy so much huge volume and stuff. It's helping give back to the community. I mean, times are hard right now for a lot of people, and um, yeah, I'm just doing it for fun mostly. I mean, we have a good time. But what made you decide to want to open a store? I've involved. always went to all the antique stores and I helped my neighbor clean out her house from July till Christmas and I sold it all on marketplace and I said mm, I got stuff left I need to I need to do this and get out of the house so he was nice enough to help me and with the rise of you know a lot of shows on like history channel and discovery about people's mind storage has, has that made it more difficult for you yeah I actually bought my first unit in 1999 and when I was actually doing the engineering work in Oregon, and I'd buy four or five a year, sell the big stuff, friends would come over and let them just go through stuff. And then after I retired and moved here to, to do some stuff here, see the East Coast, I'd never been over here. Um, I thought, well, shoot, what am I gonna do now? So I started working this business, just doing it full time. So it's been, it's been good, but yeah, definitely when the show started, we went from paying $50 from a unit to anywhere from $500 to $2,000. And, and next thing you know, there was five or six of us at the storage unit facility, and then all of a sudden there's like three, 400 people. It, was, it's, it got crazy. And it's a little better now because people think they're gonna be rich on this stuff, like the show, and then realize after they do it, they got a garage full of stuff and they don't know what to do with it. <laughs> So I've just figured out a way to actually move it along fast, selling it cheap, helping people out in this bad economy. Are you looking for anything in particular, or just browsing? Yeah, browsing, my man. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> We'd be glad to have you with Willie and Dylan, and whatever price is negotiable. Don't nobody leave unless they've got some type of item with them. That's right. And then bring somebody when you come. Bring a friend, enemy, or whoever. Bring them all back. Bring them all. I'll send you a bill if I am. Now, you look for anything in particular or just no, looking? I really need to stay out of here because it makes me buy all this stuff that I really, it's, I love the antiques and stuff in here. Um, very nice. Uh, she has nice stuff in here. I bought a table and painted it the other day and it was really neat, yes. You looking for anything in particular or just browsing today? No, I'm looking for, I got all the box with me. This one. Home filter. Painting. Tip smasher. Everything. Oh, so you, so you getting all, you getting all this today? Huh? You buying this today? Oh yeah. I'm going to buy it. Yeah. Some good prices on it? Yeah. It's a good price. And everything is a good price.
I hope you have enjoyed this treasure hunt as much as I have enjoyed bringing it to you. But don't take my word for it. Come on down to 807 West Salisbury Street and find your own buried treasure. If you like what I'm doing, leave a comment below because that motivates me to do more videos. Of course, if you don't like what I'm doing, also leave a comment below because that motivates me to go out and do more videos so you like them the next time. Because you know I say it all the time, when it comes to photography, no one knows it all. And the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. And as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on my photographic journeys, and I will see you next time.